per usual. No introduction needed. You already know who it is. It's Chris Hemsworth from Alibaba. And listen, I'm a multi-platinum producer and I run a Discord with over 55,000 members you guys should join. And I asked them to send me a bunch of beats for me to fix. So they sent a bunch of zips, FOPs, and that's exactly what I'm doing in this video. Hop on a call with them and fix the beat with them as I go through it. So let's hop right into the video. We get this 2,000 likes. I'm gonna send a bunch of commenters my armored core drum kit. You'll see me use it in the video. And yeah, get into it. Alrighty, first up, we got Meta Freezy. What's up, baby? State your name and occupation. What's up, guys? What do you do for <laughs> what's up guys? It's Meta Freezy. I'm a beat maker and also DJ. Oh hell yeah. Alright, where are you from? I'm from Russia. From Russia, we got somebody from Russia here. You sent me this FOP. What do you exactly want to fix on it? Or what did you have in mind when you sent it to me? I was thinking about arrangement, rhythmic part. Okay. I think we'll be able to do this pretty easy. So this is a preview of how it sounds. This is what he sent. I haven't touched it yet. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I like it already. I'm not gonna lie. I'm glad we're starting off with this because this is one of those ones where it's like, if you hear a beat that's like, you could really tell somebody's new, then there's so much stuff you could do, but this is a more polished beat. This is a great example of like how I would get more into the nitty gritty and explain stuff. So I'm glad we're starting off with you. First things first, you got a lot of melodies going on. Listen, don't ever let a producer tell you there's a right or wrong way to do something. So everything I'm saying here is like more of just my thought process. But when I do beats, I like to always find a catchy layer, even to start with. So like, say we do this because this is where it repeats. First, figure out like which layer just sounds really good, just off rip, just like start setting that vibe, bro. That first melody is perfect, bro, especially for an intro. Like listen to how this would come in just like this. You hear that compared to all these sounds at once? Think about it as like you're a listener, right? And you don't make music, you don't produce. Think about all these sounds you're throwing at a listener who's like not a producer. It's just a lot more sounds. It's much better to kind of ease your way into it and introduce the sounds. It doesn't have to be one by one, but just keep that in mind when you're just trying to introduce sounds like gradually. So like, let's say we start off with something like this and then we introduce this little lead layer that you have, cause I like this too. We'll have it start like just two off right here and watch. Just watch the different type of energy that comes in. Your text fire, by the way. So like, that's like a perfect way to bring that beat in. Obviously there's a million ways to do it. And then from there, I'm gonna try and introduce another sound. Ooh, that's kind of hard. I like that. So we could do that. We could do this. Boom. Starts off. This could be hooker or chorus. It just depends on the artist. We got the first eight going into the second eight here. I'm gonna turn these two down just a little bit so they're not like hitting really, really hard. I'm gonna change these 808s if you don't mind. You fuck with that? Do you like that? Yeah, yeah. So here's what I'm thinking. I want to keep a lot of the things you did because I really do like it. Thank you. I just don't like when a lot of snares are hitting like really, I won't say unnecessary rolls. Just like this roll, I hear all the time. Dot, 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 dot that shit it could just have its own little vibe maybe without it not that it's wrong like i said everything i'm saying here is like take it with a grain of salt if i tell you to do something it don't mean i'm right trust me it's just a taste thing we're collabing on the beat now this is 50 50 so i want to give my input in the beat but in general you're not wrong for doing what, what you did i just want to make that clear and you see how this melody switches here like we switched it to do the two other melodies you did this will be a good time right here to maybe hit them with this because people are probably seeing this and like oh pony you put the note at g hashtag four that's so low oh my god it's gonna sound like poop no it doesn't sound like poop we're going here we got the first start then it goes to this melody and then we go back again and it's just bounce between those two Another thing I forgot to mention a little earlier is usually people will be asking like, oh, how do you know what the root notes are? Stuff like that. These are very like arpeggiated melodies. And this one just starts on the C sharp note. So really other than that, once you know the key you're in, especially with arpeggiated melodies, you can make up the bass line because there is no root notes going on all the time. It's just, you see what I mean? It's just all different notes. Yeah. So let's come over here. I want to use what you did with this second 808, but I'm going to use it as more of a bridge. So like, let's say we get these four going. I count all this as one all this in the highlighted as like one section okay so even though the beat starts over here i still consider this all like the same thing you see what i mean like say we go over here so we go back to this with the cool up part of the 808 let's see how we this would be like the verse or some shit we'll see how it comes back in 
All right. And then we're coming up, and this will be the big bridge. No hi hat. Let's see how this works. And that's what I was saying before you saw what I did here, right? Bringing it back around for the second time, technically it would look like this. It's just a little bit too much of a break for me because there was no hi-hats in this part. All right, let's hear it from the top. Just with those small changes, the snare, the 808 like ideology, and then the arrangement ideology, which is something I know you said you wanted to work on and fix with this. This is a perfect beat for it. Now just feel the flow of it compared to like what we had before. <laughs> I think that kind of wraps it up for this beat. Let's see the mixing. Oh, we got the T-Rex clipper. I don't have it anymore, so that wasn't on there. Let's mix this beat real quick. You use T-Rex. Is there anything else you keep in mind when you're mixing? I'm just making like parallel reverb and compression. It's like the thing I learned from my friends. Yeah, I okay. Love. What I do, and there's a million ways to do this as far as mixing your beats goes. I like having it, especially for some like opium shit because this is some Ken Carson vibes. I'll turn up the high end just a little bit and really that's it with the soft clipper and everything else leveling for me. Sick. This beat's done, bro. Is there anything you want to tell the people? Anything you want to say? Any final words? I don't really actually know. Just make beats, make loops. I guess keep working. It's the key. I didn't really think that I could be on your video. It's something amazing for me. Oh, thanks, actually. bro. I wasn't expecting that. Thank you so much. No, I'm really happy you came along. Mm. All right, next up, beat number two, man of the hour, we got Spectre. Introduce yourself, name and occupation, hey, where are you from? What's good, my name's Spectre, I'm from Denmark, I'm 16, been producing for about a year, just took it seriously earlier this year. A year? Yeah. I was not expecting you to say a year, I just listened to this like when I opened it up and it's good. This is a preview of, of the beat. Really good for a year, I gotta say. I was not expecting you to say a year, but what did you want to fix on this beat? Why did you send it to me? Because it sounds pretty good so far. Yeah, I sent it to a producer just like to get some feedback. Mm -hmm. And he said it was kind of muddy. So I was like, for me, it doesn't sound muddy because I got like a $15 speaker. So like, uh, you want to fix the mix up a little bit? Is there anything else? Maybe the way it's. Uh, well, like the arrangement? Yeah, the arrangement. Yeah. I got you. I don't know if there's enough space for the artist. I don't know if it's too busy. We're going to figure it out right now, baby. The thing I do like about this track is like the sound selection. I really like this snare. Shout out Morris. Like the vibe, it's kind of like some yeet-ish type of vibe, but also it's still like opium. The snare is like more on some yeet vibes. I, I like it. So first thing I like to do, bro, is usually I try to minimize, especially if I'm collabing with people, I minimize off rip just to get a real feel of the track. Start out with the melodies. This is like all some ambient stuff. I like it though. Actually, I really do like the way you introduce this. I know it's four layers here, but they're all very like droney. So they work together. It doesn't sound like it's too many sounds at once. Let's figure out maybe if we could see how we want to like start this beat. Like maybe the way we bring it in. This is perfect too. I like this. This gives it that like gritty vibe. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Boom. I hear it starting like right there. Uh, give him a little taste. <laughs> this layer's funny. What the fuck? I forgot about that layer. Uh, it's kind of hard. I want to use this more because I see you got these going back and forth here. The first one is more like gritty layer. That one is more like a... Like swaggy. Yeah, just to get it going. Um. Yeah, the energy is gives it... You're, no, you're right. It's like it gives it more rhythm. That's where it like picks up. So because of that, I don't want it to be go immediately after eight right back into this one. Let's let it like rock a little bit more. You know what I mean? Like coming into it. I like this roll. So 
this is cool. I like this. The only thing is maybe I'm the issue with this because I've shown a lot of videos where it looks like this. But usually what I do is you got to play it with the drums. This is cool as a rule of thumb, like as a default to cut off that low end, like right there. I see what you're doing. You want to listen to it with the drums at the same time and then EQ it from there. Like, don't just pull up this melody and be like, all right, it's got a lot of low end. Let me take out all the low, the low end. You know what I mean? Don't do that. You want to do more of like, all right, I'm going to listen to it with the drums. See how you still leave that integrity of the melody and you don't just like straight up drop the end low end off the face of a cliff right here. Yeah. I like this hi-hat pattern. I'm just going to change it a little bit more. I like that there's space, but I want to keep the rhythm going a little bit. So in all the spaces where you're took out a hi-hat, I'm just going to put a low velocity one in. Yeah, like that. yeah. let's figure out a bridge. Uh, with the crash, with the crash. Oh, that's so perfect. And the way that this melody, this little serum six, it like bleeds on its own because it's probably an effect you have yeah. on it or something. Yeah, you got the portal on there, a few portals. So it bleeds the off. Is definitely my favorite plugin. It can add texture or just alter the melody. Exactly. And I like the way it kind of just freestyles like it runs over here. Watch. And then it bleeds over to there. See how it bled a little bit? I f with that. I don't like my snares being louder than my 808s. So let's see. I don't care if the 808s are like clipping really hard. It don't matter to me. If it fits the vibe and I'm listening to it and it sounds good, I'm bouncing it. I don't care if it's redlining like crazy because it's going to take care of it a little bit over here. Okay, I see what you did. You added like a little bit of low end boost. I'm going to turn up all these melts just a little bit. I really like this beat actually. I think for this, we could bring this together a lot with some sound effects. Okay. I have a crap ton. Do you have my armor core kit? Nah, I don't. I'm gonna send it to you after I this. Bet. This is all on my Patreon. I got this. This is my ultimate sound effects kit. Eight bucks. Can't lose, bro. All that for eight? Well, it's just a tier, so it's my lowest tier. It's the eight dollar tier. It's got like it's got actually way more than this, so this is actually kind of a steal. I might as well get it. <laughs> That's insane. Look, are you a paid actor? Did I tell you to say that? No. That'd be funny <laughs> if that was planned though. I slip you ten bucks. Like, yo, say this real quick. So I'm just gonna use this to add some sound effects like on drops and stuff just to you give your beats like a theme it's kind of cool I, I like giving it that feel of like it's got a distinctive sound especially because like sound effects could do that like it just adds that element of you know like it's got its own vibe <laughs> uh. i want to see how this snare roll comes in with the the bridge Oh. No, that's it. That's it. That shit. That shit's insane. That shit's stinking. All right, I think this beat's done. This beat's hard as shit. I like the mixing on it. The mix is good. The idea of the track's really good. Any questions you had, bro? Anything you wanted to ask me? Yeah. Any tips to get placements? For placements? It's weird. That's like a general question I do get asked a lot. I think the biggest thing is is people's approach to music, and they think it's like some secret, like, oh, all you got to do is hit this email and you'll be good, and like send hard beats there. Here's my personal opinion, bro. You got the A and R jobs, like the people who look for talent, but I feel like some of the most talented people at finding young, like untapped talent is producers because we're such fans of music. That's like usually why we want to get into it in the first place. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's important to find artists, whether it's on SoundCloud and like up and coming playlist on Spotify, wherever, it doesn't matter. Find these younger artists and newer artists without a bunch of followers and hit them up and tell them you want to work, bro, and build with them. Thank you. All right, man. Beat two done. Is there anything you want to tell the people before we get off? Follow my IG at SSS Spectre. All right. Thanks, man. Thanks for coming along. I see you. All right, boys. Last up, we got Mad Love. Mad Love. Introduce yourself. State your name and occupation. Where you're from? Yo, what's good? My name is Mad Love. I'm from Canada. I'm a producer. I just be working on the side, you know, trying to come up, make my dream happen. I heard some of the FLPs. You sent a couple. Uh, this is one I feel like I could help on, and this is the preview to it. Definitely like a vibe, like I would do on some like low shit.
got it. This is a good foundation. There's just so much I feel like I could help with to like fill this out. But a lot of the stuff you did is good, like fundamentally. I like like the bounces and stuff. The mix needs work for sure. So I'm gonna help you with this mix. I love the idea you did here. We're trying to bring in like a more alternative drum intro. Let's embellish on that and make it like just sound really full instead of kind of like just like a template idea with the snares. Yeah, yeah. We can really just delve into that alternative vibe for the intro. Damn, those sounds are nice. We need a fat kick off rip too. What were you hearing in this beat that you wanted me to like kind of focus on or work on? Really, I was thinking just uh, make the 808 more full sounding, make the mix sound better. Just cause like when the drop happens, it doesn't really sound like as full as I think it should. Yeah, that's fine. I fuck with that, doing that with the drum pills as well. Like listening into how they do that. That's like where a lot of the sauce is. So a lot of people do like really basic like patterns. I've done it too before and I'm like, now I'm trying to fix, like really start making these alternative patterns sound like a real fucking drummer's doing it. And he's doing not just yeah. real A and B rudimentary stuff. I want to get it. So it's like some crazy stuff. <laughs> Actually, let's do four, like a four on the floor with this, the shaker, and just the, every second one, it's gonna be lowered. Oh, that was fine. I think we add a bass line, to be honest. As I'm doing this, I'm like, yeah, we should do like, let's do a bass line. Well, let's go because like we spent time on this pattern and it's like a pretty important part kind of like to the vibe. Let's go like double it. Let's go with eight for the intro. Let's actually print this whole thing, this whole pattern right here. Cause I'm gonna do this with it. Control F, Control F brings it so you could change the fading tool. I'll go like this. Yeah. Bring all these in. Rule of thumb, bro, is most of the time you're gonna want to turn your sounds, like get them as loud as possible. It's important because when you send out beats to artists, they're gonna hear your beat and they're gonna be listening to other people's beats and then they're just gonna skip your beat because as soon as they hear my beat that's 10 times louder and hits, perceptually hits yeah. way harder yeah. than yours, they're gonna hear yours and be like, yo, turn this off. So <laughs> let's, Not that us. we gotta make sure your mixes are loud. I Not saying muddy, just loud. All the sounds as loud as it could be without. Yeah. Without a clip it real hard. I bet yeah, that makes sense. Here's how it's coming to be uh, together a little better. Yeah. so that we have a full 16 for here and then another 16. Whether or not this is gonna be the hook or the verse and then this is gonna be the hook or the verse, doesn't matter, just give them like that template so they could do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, they want to, so like that. And then let's go back to this 808 so that we keep that energy going. It's not like too spaced out. Yeah. I hear an open hat going, like four on the floor. <laughs> So it's gonna come out like this, let's go. Oh yeah, that's hard. 
I like this. What do you think? Nah, that is hard. You cleaned it up for sure. Is there any questions you got for me? You wanted to ask? Nah, nah, not really, bro. If you're the last guy. You want to send off the video? Go ahead. Thanks for watching, yo. 2,000 likes. I'm going to send a bunch of commenters my armored core drum kit. I used it in the video. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Which one did you guys like best out of the three? Let me know. All these guys are awesome. And uh, thank you for tuning in. making beats right now for only one year of producing is because of uh, your tutorial like they help a lot thanks man that means a lot to me no for real that yeah, means a lot just uh watching the newest uh, video the three beats for opium yeah hey, everybody should go watch that that's what i'm saying thanks so much man that does mean a lot to me bro that's what i want to do i want to help people get better at beats i taught myself how to make beats so there's a lot of hoops and like learning i had to jump through because the tutorials weren't going as crazy as they were today back in like 2016 you know what i mean so i was like let me let me be one of the people to try and help out the next generation of prods with the little knowledge I have. That means a lot to me, bro. Thank you so much. I appreciate that.